hey, thanks. Um, it's funny because I'm like actually like the most like anti-military person you'll ever meet. <laughs> um, my name's Ashley. I'm from the Nebraska AIDS Project. <laughs> All right, then this is my poem. Oh, just a content warning. Um, there's just a little bit of abuse due to adjacency. A rose quilt, an open window, window on a September night, I am awake. The echoes of decade-old love songs and the smell of cigarettes linger on my body. I can feel his touch. I roll over and curl up, hoping to find a shred of peace. I can feel his hands. They find my top, unbutton it, expose my bra, exposing the folds of my chest, carrying my secrets in my pride. I've been exposed. But tonight, I am in bed, and I am alone. Leather seats, a summer breeze, expressway white lights, we kiss. I'm not sure if it's out of love or loneliness, but we kiss. I haven't been caressed like this in months. Somehow my young skin feels soft against his aged chest, but really my young skin feels slimy against his aged chest, and we kiss. I tell him this, I must go, that this isn't right. I'm not supposed to be here, not tonight and not with him. Blue eyes are staring me down, not letting me break the gaze or his embrace, not letting me break what he calls us. He smiles. The street lamp shadows his face, showing me only a cute smirk, except for it's actually more of a sinister smirk. His mustache and beard are mangled. He looks drunk. He looks in love, he says, and I am in love, I say. But tonight, I don't feel in love. I feel apathetic. His bushy eyebrows and crusted lips are burned into my brain. My quilt feels like sandpaper, but my skin does not need to be smoothed. There is something wrong with me. No, actually, there is nothing wrong with me. A red button-up, hair tied back, in a past Sunday evening, I stand at my post. I can smell alcohol. This is a bar and there's booze everywhere. Two women are taking shots behind me. I smell alcohol. It has saturated my skin and pruned my fingers. I can feel his breath on my neck. His beard tickles my cheek and I smell alcohol, but it's not from the bar. He's here, ready to pick up his love bug, he says. I'm at work. I'll work. I cry, I tell him I can't do this anymore. He says he can't not imagine not doing me anymore. He throws his pint on the ground. Shards of glass tickle my ankles. He watches me. Blue is considered the easiest color on the eyes, but tonight is by far the most manipulative, and I leave with him. Actually, tonight, I left with him. No, really, I left alone. I got in my car without saying goodbye, without a kiss. It's been four months. I see his face each and every day, but every time I feel a little less guilty, a little less wrong. He was demoted, no longer my supervisor. He was demoted, with, no longer with any power over me. And he got a message. I got a message. Tonight, I am alone. <laughs>